Hey guys, it's Kelsey and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and tap on the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. So today's video is going to be my 15 week update and I look like garbage because all I've done today is sleep. Veterans Day is tomorrow, but our office was closed today. So I got to sleep late and then after I got up and had breakfast, I took a nap and it was great. And I didn't throw up today. Yay! Spirit fingers! So for my symptoms this week, there hasn't been much that's different than last week. My hair is really greasy though. I don't, I don't, that's not a symptom, that's just a lazy. <laughs> I have been feeling some discomfort in the left side of my abdomen. I don't know what it is. It's probably just poop. The beginning of the, well, last weekend and then the beginning of this week, I was very, very sick. I don't know if I had a virus or what it was, but I was very, very sick and my stomach was very upset. And I actually lost a little bit of weight on accident again. I'll show you my weight in a few minutes. But I have been sleeping better this week. I didn't wake up in the middle of the night, but maybe one or two nights this week. My bladder is getting very full very fast. Without even drinking anything, 20 minutes after I just went pee, I have to pee again, which, you know, is to be expected because I am a very well hydrated person, so my kidneys are working overtime. <laughs> what else is new? I'm just in general tired, <sighs> but that's not new. So if I think of anything else, I'll tell you, but on that note, let's see about baby boy. Okay. So he is about the size of a navel orange this week. He is a little over four inches and weighs two and a half ounces. And it says, you probably can't feel it yet, but baby's squirming a ton. I have felt like maybe three things that were definitely not gas. And I can usually only feel it if I'm laying down and I have my, my abdomen stretched out as far as it can be. And I have my hands on top of my uterus. That's the only time I've actually felt something, but you know, I'm sure, I'm sure soon I'm going to feel some more stuff. And it also says he might even be hiccuping already. Baby's making lots of progress. The jo joints and limbs can all move now. His proportions are becoming even more normal since his legs now outmeasure his arms. And that is for sure because on my ultrasound yesterday, his legs... I'm 15 weeks today and yesterday his legs measured 15 weeks, six days. And the rest of him was measuring like 15 weeks, two days or 15 weeks, four days. But his legs were measuring exactly a week ahead because yesterday it was 14, six. He's going to have some long legs. It says that I'm probably feeling high energy, which means high libido. That's not the truth. <laughs> That's not the truth. I just want to sleep. I just want to sleep. So Pregnancy Plus app says your little one is now able to rub its eyes, yawn, and even blink. If you eat or drink something that he doesn't like, you may notice a tug on the umbilical cord. Not really, but he now has the ability to grasp the cord. Okay, so that was supposed to be a joke. Whoops, I didn't get it. His hairline is forming and hair is starting to grow on his head. Even the eyelashes and eyebrows are growing. If you're hoping to find out the sex of your baby, unfortunately, it's still too early. Actually, it's not because thank you, technology. <sighs> Even though your baby is hiccuping regularly, there is no sound produced as his windpipe is full of fluids at this stage. He can also hear sounds now. And I read something the other day that said he can sense light now too. Like even though his eyes are closed, he can still sense light. So that is cool. So that is cool. He's growing. Let's see what he looks like. All right, so that's about what he looks like. Yeah, 
And then let me show you what he actually looks like in case you didn't watch the video yesterday. There is my precious little face. Look at his little face. And it looks like he's sucking his thumb, but I don't know if he was actually sucking his thumb. But look at his face. It's so cute. I just want to love him. I can't wait to hold him. All right. Now, let's talk about me. I am 15 weeks long. I am still not anywhere up there on the weight. I'll show you my belly measurement in a minute. My sleep has been decent-ish this week. The best moment this week was yesterday whenever I got to see him and it made me very happy even though he was not very cooperative and his head was sitting on my cervix and it was very hard to get a good picture until the very end of it. So yeah, hopefully that won't happen again. I'm sure it will. <laughs> you know. Do I miss anything this week? <sighs> no. <sighs> no unexpected symptoms currently. Skin conditions are decent. Except for my dry patch right here. But everything else is pretty decent. Except for my shoulders, those are still horrible. Food cravings, pizza, pizza, pizza. Yesterday I had three pizza lunchables and you know, one lunchable comes with three baby pizzas. So I had nine baby pizzas yesterday and they made me very happy. Food aversions, still the eggs, still scrambled eggs in the morning. I can eat boiled eggs and I can eat deviled eggs, but I cannot eat scrambled eggs currently. This week I was mostly happy, but I'm looking forward to now is next Friday, my actual appointment appointment, because that was just an ultrasound yesterday, so I have my actual appointment next Friday. And I did make a birth plan that I will share with you guys soon if you want to hear about it. If not, I'll keep it to myself. But I did make that. It's actually sitting right over there on my dresser. Um, that's a night table, not a dresser. But I'm going to take that with me to my appointment and talk to my doctor about it and see if he agrees with everything on there and see if I can make what I wish to happen happen. Yes. I don't know if you noticed, but the setup's a little different. We changed the bed around again because the way we had it, there was no room on my side of the bed for a bassinet. And I kind of need to have my baby near me once he's born. And it's, you know, better to <laughs> rearrange furniture now and I can still move. So I have plenty of room on my side of the bed now for a bassinet. Yes, so that's different. I don't even know where I was going with that. Oh, I know where I was going with that. The wedding rings. Um, while I was cleaning, I went through all of my drawers and went through the stuff under the bed and I found a black Kayla ring that I used to wear and I've been wearing that one instead of my other Kayla rings. I don't know, it matches my Fitbit and currently my fingernails. So yeah, I've been wearing that one. I have not noticed any new stretch marks. I've felt the few little movements. I have had a few, um, not necessarily cramps, but I think I'm starting to get into the round ligament pain portion of this because I'm, I'm feeling uncomfortable whenever I change positions. I'll have lots of stretching and pulling in my abdomen. So that's probably just, you know, ligament pains, nothing scary. My belly button is getting shallower. <laughs> Oh, my belly button is getting shallow. So let me show you my belly. All right, so this week looks like we're still hanging out at 39. Is that on the widest part? Yeah, it's still hanging out at 39. Yeah, that's all even. But look, it's a belly. It's a belly. It's a belly. Um. I want to tell you something, but it's going to be hard to show you because you can't actually feel it. But yesterday at my ultrasound, um, we were, you know, feeling around and I was feeling the top of my uterus and it was like, my uterus is very, very off center. So it was like 
right here. And I, whenever I'm laying down, I can feel the top of my uterus and it's, you know what, let me lay down. <sighs> All right. Yeah. <sighs> the top of my uterus is right there. And that is also the very center of the top of my uterus. So my uterus is literally not on the same side or it's not in the center of my body and I wonder if that has anything to do with my bicornate uterus I don't remember if I ever told you guys but six or seven years ago I had an MRI done and they said that I had a bicornate uterus so I don't know but they said it wasn't severe and I didn't have a septum so I, d I don't know if that is you know, if baby boy is just in the top of the right horn on my bicornate uterus, or I have no idea, but it's very interesting that it is like completely not in the center of my body. It's very, very weird. And it feels weird. So here's how much I weighed today. And that's it. If you guys have any questions, make sure you leave a comment down here. And I will see you guys soon. Yeah, I'll see you soon. Oh god, I'm such a weirdo. Ooh, do you want me to do a um, 10 Names We Love But Won't Be Using video? Because I thought I was going to do that today but I don't want to do it if you guys don't want to see it so let me know if you want to see that down here and I'll see you guys soon bye